Bayern Munich star Mario Goetz struck in the 113th minute to finally break Argentina's resistance as Lionel Messi's dream of emulating Diego Maradona ended in defeat. Mario Goetz scored a superb extra time winner as Germany beat Argentina 1-0 to become the first European team to win a World Cup held in South America on Sunday. Bayern Munich star Goetz struck in the 113th minute to finally break Argentina's resistance as Lionel Messi's dream of emulating Diego Maradona ended in defeat. The decisive moment of the World Cup brimming with wonderful goals came with penalties looming in front of 74,738 fans at Rio de Janeiro's famous Maracana Stadium. André Schuel burst clear down the left flank and crossed for Goetz. The 22-year-old took the ball on his chest and then volleyed past Sergio Romero to spark delirium amongst the largely pro-German crowd. Argentina and Messi were left squandering a handful of guilt-edged chances, including one that fell to Messi in the second half. Messi was largely anonymous for most of the evening and his miserable evening was summed up when a late free kick to equalise sailed over the bar. The victory was celebrated raucously by Brazilians in the crowd who had dreaded the prospect of sworn South American rivals Argentina lifting the title in their backyard. An absorbing first half saw Germany forced into a reshuffle moments before kickoff with inexperienced Christoph Kramer replacing Sami Khedira after the Real Madrid star injured a calf in the warm-up. With Bastian Schwarzstiger running midfield the Germans laid siege to Argentinian territory, passing smoothly and denying Messi a route into the game. Yet, for all Germany's early dominance they created little in the way of clear chances. And it was Argentina who were presented with a glorious chance to open the scoring. Tony Cruz misdirected a header back to Manuel Neuer to send Gonzalo Higuain racing through on goal. But with only Neuer to beat the Napoli striker dragged his shot wide to disbelief from fans and teammates. Germany continued to probe for openings, and a Philipp Lampas almost put Thomas Muller clear.